barbershop conversation guys feel free to hit the subscribe button so i saw as you guys saw earlier today about uh um o'sullivan fighting triple g man it boxing fans are sometimes the dumbest fans in the world obviously some of the most loyal fans but if Triple G and Tom Lawfer was selling oxygen, dumb boxing fans would buy it. I don't care what anyone says. There was many formidable opponents from the IBF mandatory. I don't want to mispronounce his name. Uh, all the way up to Jamal Charlo early on. And uh, Demetrius Andrade said he'll fight it on 24-hour notice. Right? So at the end of the day, I don't want to hear what no one has to say. Tom Loeffler and Triple G are, don't want to fight the best. And in addition, not wanting to fight the best, they don't care about the fan base. They already manipulated and conned you and, and labeled Triple G Mexican style when in actuality all his big fights he boxed, right? And didn't get a knockout. Well, David Lemieux, but outside of David Lemieux was probably his third toughest fight. Uh, Daniel Jacobs and, and uh, Canelo, he boxed. Couldn't knock nobody out and uh, knock down. Don't get me wrong. Uh, and 25% of that knockout was because of Daniel Jacobs footwork. And he, he was a little bit fearful in that fight, too. But at the end of the day, Tom Lawfer and Triple G is ultimately what's bad for boxing. Now, boxing fans don't mind if you steal some money every blue moon. But if you look at the last 10 opponents for Triple G, horrendous. 20% of his fights have been formidable fights. 20%. That's two fights. Formidable. Right? Y'all dumb boxing fans thought David Lemieux had a chance. I knew 100% he didn't have a chance. He, he, don't have, he don't have no variations to his game. But two out of ten. Two out of his last ten opponents. Canelo. And Daniel Jacobs have been formidable. And I actually, if you go back to my video, that's exactly what I told uh, uh, Abel Sanchez. Stealing money. They've been stealing money for quite some time, and it's disgusting. And, and, and here's the catch. Mexican fans love Triple G. And you have the right to love Triple G just from an organic base. But if you love him because you believed in the Mexican style, you were bamboozled. They robbed you. And if you show up at that May 9th fight, it's, excuse me, that Cinco de Mayo fight, uh, <laughs> you got to be the biggest. It, 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 okay, I take that back. If he's fighting O'Sullivan May 5th in Los Angeles at StubHub and you pay money to sit ringside, you pay $500 to sit ringside, <laughs> let, let me sell you some oxygen. Let me sell you some... Uh, some dirt uh inspired by the uh inspired by where jesus walked right people be buying that dirt that water that, that holy water and shit that says it's from the red sea the dead sea and people really buy that shit you could be all the way in uh uh toronto canada and they put on there oh water from the dead sea <laughs> water from the dead sea and motherfuckers you, know, you think i believe that shit even if it is i don't believe the shit <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of the day, man, this is just hysterical that boxing fans fall for this consistently, man. And uh, I'm not falling for it. I don't need your credential. Tom Walfer and his team don't like me per se. And I'm comfortable with it. I don't listen. Listen. Bo media doesn't fully understand. Without you, they cannot create a superstar. Business goes on. Politics as usual. They're going to get the fights. They're going to fight the form. But if we don't embrace Triple G's Mexican style, Triple G doesn't become a superstar. Triple G is a West of the Mississippi star. He's not a global icon. They wanted him to become a global icon, but you know what they didn't do? They didn't embrace the entire demographic of boxing, right? They literally was putting him in a place to fight Chavez and Canelo. Those were, quote unquote, his two biggest fights. So uh, even Chavez Jr. offered to fight him. That didn't happen. But anyways, uh, Tom Lawfer and Triple G are stealing money. 
stealing money and disrespecting boxing fans. But anyways, y'all gonna fall for it. I'm gonna get some hate comments in the comment section. I personally don't care. And uh, put the hate comments. Call me everything you wanna call me. Make sure you get to the end of this video. And make sure you send it to another person that hates me. And then y'all two send it to two more people that hate me. And then y'all four people send it to four people that hate me. That makes eight. And y'all eight people send it to eight more people. That makes 16. All right. I'm comfortable with being the villain. I don't mind being the villain. Actually, I actually am, I actually enjoy it. Because at the end of the day, when I get a DM from a, from a black brother that's the same hue as me. And he says, thank you, you inspire me. That makes my day. <laughs> so mission accomplished you know what i mean so anyways man barbershop conversations man feel free to hit the subscribe button if he if he fights o'sullivan and i see anybody i know in the fan in the stands that bought a ticket oh you got to be the dumbest motherfucker i mean the uh, i mean ass or nine like let me sell you uh some leaves that jesus touched <laughs> Let me sell you uh, some shit that uh, that came all the way from the Vatican. <laughs> Let me tell you that Pope, I don't know what number of Pope they are. Pope number three, Pope number three's Bible. Inspired by Pope's number three Bible. I'm going to sell you something inspired by Pope number three's Bible. You're going to buy it, right? <laughs> Anyways, man. Barbershop conversations, man. As long as there are dumb people in the world, there, there is a marketplace for dumb people. I mean, there is a marketplace for dumb. And, and, and you know what it's called? People who don't believe in themselves. People who don't believe that their purpose is more important than working for someone else. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying working for someone else is wrong because some people aspire to be a lawyer. Some people aspire to be a doctor. Some people aspire to work at, to work at hospitals. Some people aspire. That's not what I'm saying. But if you're just at your job pushing papers and typing enter you know what i mean lack of inspiration you just you just fall into auto mode every day autopilot enjoy that you're the same person that's gonna say oh triple g is a hell of a fighter he ain't fought nobody 20 percent of his fights are the last 10 can you that's disgusting anyways man y'all don't care yeah i don't care. i'm just speaking to the I'm just speaking to I'm not even I'm not even speaking to nobody because it's gonna be seven to nine thousand people at StubHub Center uh, May fifth watching this guy O'Sullivan, an unworthy opponent, get knocked out, and everyone's gonna cheer. Everyone's gonna have two or three beers, and you're gonna cheer, and then you're gonna complain why the next fight why Triple G ain't fighting Canelo or some shit like that. But anyways, but anyway, the reason why he's probably fighting O'Sullivan is to get the Canelo fight next to keep it safe. And his legacy is almost tarnished because I remember when I first started covering Triple G Heavy, the mission was to be undisputed unified champion of the world. Billy Joe Saunders said he'll wait till June and they said, ah, nah, we'll move forward. But anyways, man, barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Tom Waffer, I already know you don't like me. All right. Your team done told me you don't like me and I'm comfortable with it. I don't need your credential. I don't need none of that. I'm going to tell the truth. If you don't like the truth, you don't like being held accountable. I'm comfortable with that. So anyways, have a great day. I'm off to the gym. I'm about to go work out. First, I'm about to go run. So if y'all want to come catch up with me, y'all got to gotta go run these four miles with me. <laughs> Barbershop conversations, man. I know I got some haters. Oh, y'all burning. I love it. Haters, put, the, haters, put all the hate in the comment section. Feel free. Put all the hate in the comment section. And then send it to your other friend that hates me. I had a guy hit I had a guy yesterday. This is how I know the hate is real. This is how I know what the hate is real. See, your energy can't hide your hate. It can't hide your hate. The motherfucker said, you'll probably watch this video. And uh He said, see, I'm always a gentleman. Always 100 percent The contemporary gentleman always wins. Man, I learned that a long time ago. So the guy says, uh, I knew his energy. I felt his energy. He says, uh, How's uh barber? He 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 mispronounced it, right? How's barbershop? Uh, how's your barbershop doing? I said it's doing okay. It's doing good. He says, uh, do you have ten thousand subscribers yet? I knew how many subscribers I had. I said I don't know. Let me check. I have I have seventeen thousand. Thank you to all seventeen thousand subscribers. I genuinely appreciate you guys, for real. And then he said, 
he walked away like, ah, oh, he was so disappointed. He was so disappointed, man. <laughs> Ah, I felt his hate coming. I felt his hate, man. Them keyboard warriors, man. I love it. Keep on hating and send it to your friend. Keep on hating and send it to your friend. Send this to Tom Lawford. Tell him you're, he's stealing money and he's disrespecting boxing fans. Only two out of ten fights has been formidable against Triple G his last ten fights. Willie Monroe, Dominic Wade, Martin Murray. Uh, I don't forgot half the other half. So anyways, man, Barbershop Conversations, man, feel free to hit the subscribe button. And uh, actually, before Daniel Jacobs and Triple G, his last eight opponents, his last ten opponents prior to that have been bums. Not bums. I'm not disrespecting the opponent, but they haven't been on the A level. All right? They have not been on the A level. So anyways, man, Barbershop Conversations, man, feel free to hit the subscribe button. And uh, I'll talk to you guys real soon. Peace.